Did you know that some states require teaching that Francis Bacon and Emily Dickinson were gay? And now, New Jersey, Illinois, Colorado, California, Washington, and the District of Columbia have ordered that schools teach sexual orientation and gender in numerous classes. An upset New Jersey mother recently told the media, when you teach about George Washington, you don't teach that George Washington had sex with his wife. We teach what George Washington did as a president. In Rockland County, California, a kindergarten teacher read a book called I Am Jazz to her students, an autobiographical picture book about a transgender child. One line in the book reads, I have a girl brain, but a boy body. A parent reported to CBS News that after hearing the book, her child came home crying, confused and afraid that they could turn into the opposite sex without knowing it. Many parents, including some with kids who identify as transgender, don't want schools deciding what and when their children are taught about sexuality. But those that are speaking out against this new curriculum are being called bigots by LGBT activists. What these activists aren't teaching students and parents are the facts about the irreversible path of gender transition. Jazz Jennings, the author of I Am Jazz, started taking puberty blockers at age 11. Eventually, he took cross-sex hormones and underwent a painful gender confirmation surgery due to complications. Students won't be told that hormones can lead to impaired cognitive ability, greater risk of cancer, and sterility. And 80 to 95% of gender dysphoric children who go through puberty eventually become comfortable with their natural bodies. Parents in 10 other states have succeeded in putting limits on this curriculum. But the Equality Act proposed by liberals in Congress would erase those protections. Children are loved, nurtured, and raised by their parents, not the state. Congress should not be misled. Treating students and their parents with dignity and respect means allowing them to learn and live according to their own beliefs about sexual matters. Codifying LGBT ideology into a civil right would take away fundamental freedoms from those who don't conform. That's not equality, it's injustice.